Hi, hello, and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Kate. So I have been on it with the hauls lately. I don't know what it is. They've just been some of my favorite videos to film and make lately. So I have another haul for you guys today. I feel like every few months I usually place a pretty big order from Ulta just to do some restocks and then to try new things. So I placed what I think is a very large order from Ulta recently. And in today's video, I'm gonna unbox it all and share what I picked up. So keep watching if you wanna see and let's go ahead and get started. Oh. I am so excited to show you guys what is in here. I feel like this box may look small, but like there's actually so much in here. So what should we start off with first? I feel like I'm going to kick it off with this because I couldn't help myself. I already opened this. I had to like the moment that it came in. This is the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Whipped Shea Body Butter. Um, I think this was a product that went viral on TikTok. I'm pretty sure that's how I found it. And it just had really good reviews on Ulta. And apparently this is supposed to be a dupe for the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream, which if you guys haven't tried, it smells amazing, really heavenly. It's like a whipped formula it feels so good on the skin and this is basically supposed to be a much cheaper option than that so it's made with shea butter I don't even know what this butter is, which I'm pretty sure is the same one that's in the Bum Bum Cream, um, pistachio, which is also in the Bum Bum Cream, and then guarana extracts. So when I first saw it, I was like, okay, this the ingredients-wise, it does look really, really similar to what they advertise for the Sol de Janeiro one, um, but I really liked the packaging of this, and the price point is so much better. This is like 7 or $8. It's not that expensive, and you get like the same exact size, um, and it also says that it is long lasting lightweight and is hydrating so I've already opened this up as I mentioned and smelled it and I do 1000% think it smells like the Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream so if you like that scent if you like that lotion um pick this up give it a try let me know what you think because it really smells like tropical bliss it smells so heavenly and I have been really happy with this and this is like a little close-up if you can see it but you get a lot of product i really like the texture of this um i've only used it one time so i still need to use it again and i'll let you guys know what i think um only downside to my first experience with it i did feel like it was a little like stickier or tackier i don't even know the word like it felt amazing. I just wouldn't put this on and then go try to put a pair of jeans on afterwards. It would be a disaster um, and just not go very well. I feel like Tree Hut is also making a comeback. I hadn't tried their stuff in so long and they've like rebranded a lot of their things and like redone the packaging and just A plus. I'm super happy with this. Next, I got this little summer orgasm mini duo from NARS. Let's open it up. Um, I've been wanting to try a lot of NARS products. They're, they just are a little bit more of a splurge. I felt like this would be a good way to try two products out without completely breaking the bank. So this has a lip balm and then the NARS Orgasm blush in it, um, but there are many versions of it. Oh my God, like truly a mini. This is so teeny tiny, but it's cute. I forget how much this is. I'll have to look and see like how much did I pay for this? Is it actually worth getting the mini or should I have just gotten the full size? But this is what it looks like. I mean, I know the blush is stunning. I just wanted to get my hands on it, especially for wedding makeup, like my own, my bridal makeup. Um, that's why I sort of justified this order in my head. There were a lot of things that I wanted to try and I wanted to try them out as well for like my bridal makeup. So yeah, I picked up a lot of these things with like that in mind. Oh my gosh, <laughs> how cute. This is the mini little lip balm. This is also an orgasm, I'm pretty sure. Is it? Yeah, this is the Afterglow Lip Balm and Orgasm. This is so tiny. I don't know, you guys. I think it's really cute, but um, if I paid over like 20 bucks for this, then I feel like I should have just gotten the full size. But nonetheless, I am excited to try out these products. This next one is a restock or repurchase. This is the Pacifica Vegan Cream Gel Cleanser. It is one of my favorite cleansers of all time. I love it. I ran out and I was like, I need this. And I have so many cleansers, but I don't know. There's something about this one. I love the light scent. I love the way it feels on my face. I love the way it leaves my skin feeling. It gets off makeup. Like 
it really does such a good job and I really like the packaging too. It's like a really nice, I don't know if it's glass, but it's really nice packaging and it's also vegan and cruelty free. So it's pretty affordable. I think this is around $13. I, don't, I know it's not over that. Um, and it lasts forever. This one, I mean, I got like a year ago and just had run out. So it lasted me like a year. I do double cleanse and sometimes I do switch around cleansers, but for the most part, I use this pretty regularly. Um, and another thing that I really liked about it is it has a open and closed top so it made it convenient for travel and this is something like 1000% I would pack and take with me when I was traveling so I loved that it had that open and closed top option. This is another little restock or repurchase and it's funny that I got them because I just started going to get my nails done again so I haven't even really been using these uh, but I wanted to have them available as like a just in case and in case I change my mind and stop getting my nails done and want to do them again at home. But these are the Kiss Gel Fantasy Collection Ready to Wear Glue on Nails. Um, you guys know if you've seen some of my other videos before, I've mentioned these. Um, I love this color. I used to do my own press ons. I found a glue that is amazing from Amazon. So um, I would put these on. They have a really nice like array of size options too. I've tiny small fingers um, and could always find something that worked here and I don't particularly love this coffin shape so for me once I glued them on I would shape and file them into more of an almond which is what I like uh, but they're amazing they last they're super sturdy they're like a thick nice durable press on nail and if you're gonna buy any press ons like this is what I would recommend um, there's also enough in here there's 28 nails um, so I'm able to get like two uses or two sets out of this um which i also like for the price these are like seven or eight dollars i really need to like specifically price check every item before i come on here but they aren't that expensive they're under ten dollars well well worth it and this color is my favorite i don't know let's see what is it i don't know what this shade is it doesn't say on here uh, but i'll of course link everything that i share in today's video down below but the shade to me is like my ideal perfect pink so love these but they have some design options too and a ton of other stuff to check out next i got an eyeshadow palette i think i actually got a few i forgot how many eyeshadow palettes that i ordered in this or palettes in general which i'm excited but this is the lyric palette from ColourPop. oh my gosh it's so pretty so pretty. Um, I just thought this was stunning. It would be really nice for fall. It had a lot of good neutrals. It had some shimmers, had some mattes. Um, I don't know. I just was drawn to it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, this is stunning. And we know ColourPop. ColourPop shadows are so pigmented. They're beautiful and they're affordable. And I like affordable. Um, so why don't I just swatch some of these? I'm not the best swatcher, but I will try. Here's the gold. There's the wow. Oh my god. So there's three of them. Hopefully my nails aren't dirty. If they are, just ignore. Um I'm just gonna swatch them on my hand. Okay. Wow. Again, not the best swatcher, but wow, look at those. They are seriously gorgeous. I cannot wait to use this. So let me know if you want to see a look with this or like a tutorial. I am like so impressed with this pressed glitter. Amazing. This next one is a restock, but you know what? I am mad at myself. It's fine because now I'm like extra prepared, but I ordered this and then I checked my drawers and I already had one. <laughs> but this is the 24 hour brow setter gel by Benefit. It is my favorite brow gel. It's chef's kiss it is so beautiful it just holds everything in place so nicely and i love it so i can't believe that i already had one because this is i will say in my opinion a little bit pricier for a brow gel but it's that good that i don't mind paying the money for it um yeah definitely could have could have waited a little bit oh my gosh i'm very excited for these i don't know how or why these were marked down as they were but i got both of these kkw lipsticks for four dollars and fifty cents i don't know if they are like doing away with them or they're going out of stock but regardless i was like i don't care for four dollars and fifty cents i'm buying them so i got i think nude one. Ooh, this looks nice I'm excited to try this you guys know i love pink one that is my fave 
such a pretty lipstick. So we have Nude One, which kind of looks like an apricot-y color. And then I got Pink Two. I really wanted to repurchase Pink One um, just so I had it because it is one of my favorite lipsticks of all times, but um, it was gone. Oh, this is definitely a lot more pink, but I think this will still be fun. So this is Pink Two. The pink one that I have is just beautiful. I would wear that lipstick every single day. It is like my perfect color. Um, but I wanted to try these out because I have really liked the formula. I like the packaging and for $4.50, I was like, I just, I, I couldn't pass it up. I tried to get all of the eyeshadow off my hand as much as I could, but I think there's still specks, flecks of glitter, specks and flecks <laughs> of glitter on here, but I will just do a little ooh, swatching on my hand for the lipsticks. That's pretty. Oh my gosh. I am gonna like nude one more than I thought. Okay. So the top one is nude one, and then the bottom one is pink two. So definitely a contrast there, but both are super stunning in their own ways. And I cannot wait to try these. I feel like people have been recommending this concealer for a very long time and I'm finally now pulling the trigger and listening. Um, so I'm excited. I hope this doesn't disappoint. I really don't think it will though. But I picked up the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I know even I am over here like, how have I not tried this yet? But I have never tried this before. So now's the time. <laughs> Uh, but I picked up the shade, I don't even know, where is it? Light 25. Oh, I did cream, br cream brulee. Cream brulee. Why can't I say that? Cream brulee. What is wrong with me? I picked up cream brulee. So I can't wait to try this out. I'm almost mad that I did my makeup today. I mean, I had to do it for this video. Um, but I'm not opposed to... Uh, washing it all off and restarting because I just want to try out all of this stuff but I've just heard really good things about this I'm sure everyone has and I just hadn't pulled the trigger on it because it is a pricier concealer um but you know I'm willing to give it a shot I'm willing to try it so I will report back on this and let you guys know what I think is it. so if there's any other NARS products that you think I should try uh definitely comment that below let me know so as of right now I think I have one more NARS product too I was on a roll. Um, I have the concealer. I got the little mini balm. I got the little mini blush. I'm gonna think of what this was called. And I think I have one more NARS product, which I might as well grab at this point. Where are you? Ah! Okay, yes I do. I ended up getting the liquid blush in Orgasm. So I'm not really that mad that the regular blush is so tiny because I do have this full size one. She sounds very liquidy. Is it supposed to sound like that? Anyways, I picked up the NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. I've seen so many people use this. It looks stunning. I love a liquid blush. I am a fan. How do I get this off? Oh, sh oh it does say shake well. So maybe it is supposed to be super liquidy. Um, anyways, I thought this could be really pretty. I definitely want to give it a try, see if I may like this for my bridal makeup. And then um, I wanted the little one so I could layer uh, the two if I wanted to, just a little extra glam and glow, you know, I don't know. I say this like every time, but blush and lipsticks are my two favorite products. And the two products that I'm most picky about, I'm very uh, particular about the like tones and shades of them. Ooh, look at that. So I don't know, this one just seemed very up my alley and something I would be happy with. Okay, so glad we just did this now so that I know before putting it on my face, a little goes a long way, like even that was way too much. I don't think I'll even need that much, but the glow is gorgeous and I love this pink, very pretty. Moving right along, I have another palette that I picked up and this is from Kiko Milano. I haven't really tried, maybe not anything from them, but I see them pop up on my Instagram all the time. Their products always look really stunning. I like their packaging and I saw this palette online and I thought it looked so gorgeous. So my hope is that it's equally as gorgeous in person. This is my first time seeing it 
in just one moment and that all of the colors like are pigmented and have a good payoff and all of that so anyways oh i thought it was going to be clear i got this cheek palette <sighs> it's she's stunning so the pictures did not lead me astray oh my god i think this is the prettiest cheek palette ever i really do um so here's what she looks like oh my god these pinks are right up my alley they are stunning they are shimmery they look like gorgeous glowing goddess colors like i i want to slather all of these all over my face they look so pretty i don't really know what this like golden one appears for like maybe setting under the eye i'm not really sure i'll have to play around with that one um but everything looks so pretty and i really hope that they're like just beautiful and pigmented. I feel like there's still so, so many things. So much stuff. Well, I'll just share these two really quick. Both of these are repurchases and restocks. I got the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Tan. I love using this to contour. And I don't know what happened to mine from flying or what, but something broke in here and like the product is stuck in my old one so anyway i needed to get a new one otherwise this would have lasted me a lot longer but i love this it is beautiful and if you want to see this in action i know i have some reels like makeup tutorial videos on my instagram using this um so you could go there to see what that looks like and then this is my all-time favorite 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 brow pencil and i've been without it for a few weeks now this is the covergirl um, micro fine and define brow pencil in honey brown I love this pencil so much. Um, it's a super thin, skinny brow pencil, so you can get very detailed and do a lot of hair-like strokes, which I really like. <laughs> and uh, I love how my brows turn out every time that I use this. It's just so perfect. It's also dual-ended, so you get a spoolie and you get the pencil. Only downside of this, which I have shared many a time, is that because my brows are thicker, I do tend to go through this product a little bit faster. It doesn't really matter though, because it's like five, six dollars, so the the price point is fine it's really good but that's the only i guess like thing that i've noticed with this is that i go through it pretty quickly it doesn't last me quite as speaking of brows i absolutely i had to do it i've been wanting this product for so long and it's been sold out finally was back in stock and so i grabbed it this is the brow freeze from anastasia beverly hills so i picked up the actual product and then i picked up this little what do they call this dual ended brow styling wax applicator I initially wasn't going to splurge and get this. I think this tool was like $17. And I was like, I have spoolies that I can use. Um, but it was the opposite end that made me reconsider and made me just feel like I may need this because I don't have a tool like this. So you have the spoolie, which again, I was like, well, I have those, so I don't really need this. But then the opposite end is like this little flat scoop um, that apparently you use to like push up and set your brows. And I, I just really didn't have anything like that. So I didn't want to get the product and then feel like I couldn't use it the way that it was intended because I didn't have the tool. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know. I'll need to play around with it, and then I can let you guys know if it is a must or something you can skip. But here she is in all of her glory. I do like the packaging of this. I think it's really just cute, sleek, simple, and let's see if I can get it open. Ah, here's our gel. She looks beautiful. I've gotten the um, like Makeup Revolution Brow Soap. Uh, probably around this time last year. I don't know if you guys remember. It was in one of my hauls and when I opened it, the wax or the soap literally fell out. It was like broken. Um, anyway, I never ended up using that and I tried to go that route instead of paying for something like a little bit more expensive and I just, it didn't work out. So I threw that one away. Now we have this one and I cannot wait to use this and let you guys know what I think. I took this one out and almost forgot about it because I took it out the same time as the first ColourPop palette, but I also got this little pressed powder palette. It's like a little quad with four shadows. And as soon as I saw this, I was swooning. I was like, oh my gosh, this looks stunning. And I haven't seen anybody post about this, talk about it. So I was like, I will. It also, one of the main reasons why I was like, 
I need you and why is no one talking about this? This looks like a dupe for one of the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes. Like I looked at this and as soon as I saw it, I was like, that looks like the Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's like their Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette or quad or whatever it is. It looked so similar and this was so inexpensive. I love these colors um, for this I particularly had in mind like wedding shadow so I need to play around and see how I like it the two shimmery shades looked stunning I love the tones of these bottom two um, just because I feel like they can be soft and subtle or you can build them up a little bit more to make them more um, impactful and dramatic I just love all these shades together like warm and rosy mm, it makes me happy so I'll swatch these <laughs> They're so pretty. Ugh. As expected, literally so stunning. Oh my God. Let's see if I can get them on my hand. Ugh, they're so pretty. I can't wait to use this. I am so excited about this trio. I almost forgot about it. Um, but you all know, I'm sure, that I love the Milani Baked Bronzer. It is beautiful. It's one of my favorite. And their baked blushes, too, are stunning. I love Luminoso. I'm actually wearing it today. It is so pretty. Um, but I saw this little, like, trio, and I was intrigued. I wanted it. I was like, what a great idea. It was all three products for like 20 bucks. Which I felt like was a steal and a really good deal for all three. So this is their baked bronzer in Soleil, which is number five. So it's a little bit different than the shade that I have, which is Dolce. So I'm excited to try a different shade. This one looks a little bit deeper and warmer, which I really like. And I think it's pretty here. If you guys can see it baked bronzers like are the most gorgeous thing ever uh but then the set also came with a highlight so this is their baked highlighter and rosa italiana like hello the names alone i'm like okay i love you um so this is looks like a sort of a mix between like a champagne and a rose gold so i'm tilting it down so hopefully not get like the cast on it so you guys can see it um, and then it came with a little blush too, and I thought the blush looked stunning. This is baked, but it's more of like a matte. It doesn't have um, some of the shimmer in it. So this is Petal Primavera. That name is so cute. But I love the shade. It looked really gorgeous, and like it could be a super pretty natural shade or just something to add a little bit of flush to the cheeks. So I just love this little set. Milani products also last me forever. I think I have yet to hit pan on any of my Milani um, bronzers or blushes that I have. So definitely worth the buy in my opinion. And I think this is the very last thing that I have. I got this eyeshadow palette from Milani. Um, and this is their Gilded Nude Palette. I don't have any eyeshadow palettes from them, but I saw this online. It looked really gorgeous, so I figured why not? Let's give it a try. It is pretty. So here it is. I need to take the plastic sleeve off. Actually, let me go ahead and do that. I feel like you can't see it. These look really pretty. Um, here it is. I felt like it had a really good variety of like pinks, nudes, matte, shimmers. It was very aesthetically pleasing to my eye um, and it's a little bit smaller than what I was kind of anticipating but in a good way like it's really compact I could see this being really nice for travel and then I of course love that it has the mirror on the top I think that's super nice uh, but size wise like this is actually perfect it's not too big at all um, and the pan sizes are perfect as well. This shade up here looks so pretty. I want to slather it in my inner corner, that like bright color up here. And then these like rosy colors in the corner I thought would be super pretty together. I loved some of these like warmer shades up here for like a fall look. Ooh. I could just see this being like a really good go-to everyday palette. And look, anytime I can find options like this that are drugstore, by all means, I will I will try it out. This is also another product that I feel like I've seen no one share or talk about. So I don't know if it's just like gone under the radar or if it's not great, which I hope that's not the case. But I will try it out and report back and let you guys know if this is worth 
the purchase. All right, you guys, so that is going to wrap up and conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up from Ulta. Definitely leave me comments below letting me know if you've tried any of this, any tips or tricks, if you have anywhere that you'd like to see my next haul from, or if you just have product recommendations in general for me, I'd love to hear from you, so let me know. But as always, thank you for tuning back in. Love you guys so much, and until next time. I know we're acting stupid.